is up, weather enthusiasts. I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here, ladies and gentlemen. More information has come out that we absolutely need to share with you. The first piece of news is this moderate risk up north. They have now issued a 15% hatch tornado risk in parts of Iowa and in parts of northwest Illinois, including the quad cities of Davenport and in the areas around there. There's another 15% risk down there, including Jonesboro, Memphis, Jackson, Tennessee, all those areas right there, as well as the boot heel of Missouri, 10% hatched all around, 5% there. That's the biggest piece of information. We also now have a 30% hatched hail risk in parts of Iowa and extreme western northwestern Illinois. The wind risk is still the same at 45%, although they did issue a new hatch risk with the 30% down here. So definitely something that we needed to share with you guys. Next thing we need to share with you guys is that the Torcon, according to my knowledge from the Weather Channel, is now up to 7 in both of these areas. A Torcon 7 means there is a 70% chance of a tornado happening within 50 miles of a point. And Torcon 7 is shows a more of a chance of EF2 tornadoes, significant tornadoes, and, and potentially long-tracked ones. So I want to share that with you as we continue to move through this. Next thing we need to show you is the HER. The 18Z HER has come out. Some more of the modeling is coming out. The NAM is currently coming out right now. We'll show you what we have. But for now, we have the HER. So we're going to go ahead and show you that. So basically, this is the timing according to the latest run right here. We have some storms developing overnight. However, uh, however, that's going to be clearing by uh, by by midday, and then after that point, they're expecting some more severe storms to develop. A lot of people are uh, a lot of people have been commenting uh, to me asking because of these storms, is it going to exhaust the uh, the whole uh, severe weather potential? Well, it could and it couldn't. One thing that we need to take into account is cloud cover, and in some of these areas, it's supposed to be partly cloudy, mostly cloudy uh, tomorrow before the storms arrive, and if the sun gets through the, uh, through those clouds, it's going to cause the, uh, the ground and all the areas around it to heat up, and it's going to kind of uh, basically just cancel that whole thing out. So that's what we got right there. We are looking at some uh, storm initiation happening in Iowa starting around four o'clock we are looking at some other storm initiation happening in south in southern Missouri around 1 uh, 1 p.m St. Louis according to this new run is now getting directly hit by some supercell storms right here as this moves through the storms in Iowa start moving into uh, into northwest Illinois this the squall line starts developing it gets really intense at first with potentially winds over 75 miles per hour with this as then it moves south and moves to the east and it continues from there. So that's the latest information we have according to this. Now I want to take a look at the CAPE real quickly and then uh, and then some of the parameters right here. The CAPE for tomorrow is actually still looking really good. For at, By 21Z, the CAPE's cracking 3,200 joules per kilogram in some of these areas where the storms are going to initiate. That is going to bring very heavy hail. That's why they issued the 30% hatched hail risk. We're seeing some 3,000 uh, 3, areas around the Quad Cities right here. But generally, we're looking at an average of around 2,800 Cape in this whole area right there. In Arkansas, we'll go ahead and show you that right now. Let's go ahead and take it down here. Arkansas, the average Cape is around one to 2,000 joules per kilogram. But they don't need they need less Cape for a huge event to happen down there because there's not as much of a cap to, uh, down there to really counter that. So that's the Cape we have right here. Let's go ahead and show you the supercell composite. And the supercell composite has been holding strong according to the HER. In fact, in northwest Illinois, they're estimating the supercell composite to get up to 26 out of 35, which that's a rather extreme uh, value right there. And that's leading me to believe that the most extreme part of this outbreak may be somewhere in eastern Iowa, northwestern uh, Illinois, somewhere around them. I wouldn't be surprised if they extended the moderate risk eastward in the next one. And the last thing I want to go ahead and show you is the significant tornado parameter. The HER has absolutely been doubling down on this right here. Here's the tornado parameter, basically from 4 p.m. all the way to all the way to 7 p.m. Boom! This is what we got right here. In fact, in parts of St. Louis and McCoupin County, we're finding finding areas of over 10. 11.7 was what I was just registering. In parts of northwest uh, West Illinois, max we could see is like around 13.5. Now, this is one run right here. This is the HER, and this I would take these values with a grain of salt. 
However, one thing is for certain. We are looking at a pretty, a pretty big uh, uh, situation going on right here. But that's pretty much the new information I wanted to go ahead and share with you. I, w I want to make something very clear. I've been seeing a lot of people in the comments starting to freak out a little bit about this. My best advice to everyone who's listening to this is just remain calm, just get your preparations ready, and find your safe spot. That's pretty much the best thing you can do, and then wait. I know you guys are pr a lot pretty intense tense over this, but please just remain calm. Panicking will only make things worse. So that's the big important thing I wanted to say to you guys. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out. It helps you make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. You guys have been really killing it with the subscribe button lately. We've gotten almost 130 new subscribers since I've started to, uh, reporting on this. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing. It helps me out. And it helps Storms United out, the people I'm working with especially. So I really appreciate that. But with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day. Stay safe.